me Vinod Shrestha and you are watching the excellent education channel and today's topic is compound depreciation okay now let's talk about what is depreciation depreciation means what the just decrease in value or decrease in price of any object or anything is called depreciation okay now let us talk now let us give let give me one example now let us suppose that i bought a mobile for rs 50000 in 2075 Okay, and if I wanted to sell it after using of one year, would the price be same? Of course not. Yeah, the price would be less than fifty thousand. Let's suppose that it is forty thousand. Yeah, if I if I wanted to sell it after one year, the price would be forty thousand. Let's suppose that I use it for two years. Would the price be forty thousand? Of course not. It is even more lesser than forty thousand. That is, by time the price decreases. So why it is called compound depreciation. Okay, now let's talk about its formula. Okay, the formula is similar than the population growth. Now see, our population growth is what? Population growth is Pt equals to P1 plus R by 100 power T. It is population growth. Yeah, and if it is the decreasing populations, then Pt equals to P1 minus R by 100 power T. Where Pt is the final population, P is initial population, R is yeah, rate of yeah, this is decreasing population and t is time, but same is here now. See depreciation, depreciation formula is pt equals to p1 minus r by 100 power t. Same here, yeah, pt is what pt is the final or future population. Yeah? As I discussed in my population growth, this is the final population, final price or future price, and p is the initial or previous price, r is the rate of depreciation. And T is the time. Okay, T is time. Then now let's talk about how to use its formula for solving the problem. Okay, now here is the problems. Now problem is the present price of a TV is RS forty thousand. It is the present price. Now see, this is forty thousand. This is the present price. And if its price reduces every year, this is R every year by ten percent per annum. After how many years? After how many years means you have to find time t equals to what? Its price will be will be means it is the final price. Yeah, it is final price. Final price. Now see this will be this is the present and will be means this is the final price. So of course this is pt. Okay, now it's very easy. Now pt the final price is now see final price is. 29,160 and this is the previous price initial price is P equals to 40,000 Here is also the very important part is finding P and PT distinguishing P and PT is important So now after having these values you can easily find now the formula is PT equals to P 1 minus R by 100 whole power T minus because it is depreciation Okay, now see this is PT is 29,160 40,000 1 minus R means 10 by 100 power T. So this divided by this one because you need to find the value of T Yeah, you need to find the value of T. So find the value of T. We have already done in population growth also We have done there. So same process is here So this divided by this one and this value will give you 0.729 if you click on the calculator So this is now if you calculate this value this will become 0.9 whole power T 0 0.9 power t. Now, how do you find the value of t? This is in the exponential form. Yeah, exponential form in this equations, you know how to find. If the base are same, then you can equate the power. So, let's make the base same. So, here is 200, 0 0.729 is there. Now, how do you make this the base 0 0.9? Now, see, you just take. Now, see, at that time, I explained. First, you do 0 0.9 power 1. This is 0 0.9. So, value does not match. So again do 0 0.9 power 2, it gives you 0 0.81, so it does not matter. So just keep on going until you get this value. If you do cube, it gets 0 0.729. Now see, it just match here. That means 0 0.729 means what? 0 0.9 whole power Q. You cannot take any other, other basis because the base here is 0 0.9. Okay, so 0 0.729 is 0 0.9 whole Q. That's why the base is said therefore t equals to 3 years. So your time is 3 years. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now let's do the question number 2. Okay. In this case, now say a machine bought for RS 80,000 before 5 years 
If its present value is RS 26,214.40, find the rate of depreciation. Okay, now let's see what's given there. First, let's take out. Now, in this case, a machine bought for RS this one before five years. Time is five years, very easy. And find the rate means R equals to R. It's very simple. Now, only we need to find is what are they? Which one is P and which one is PT? Okay, now in this case, in depreciation, you know, like the the previous value is always, yeah, this is greater than the final value. Depreciate means the final value is always lowest. Okay, and the previous value is larger and the final value is lower. So if you find the lower value, this is always final price. And here, this 26,100, 40 is the final price. And this grade one, 80,000 is the previous price. Okay, and here is very simple. Bought before five years, before five years is previous one. And this is the present value, so it is the final one. Okay, so now in this case, R you have to find. Now we have the formula PT equals to P1 minus R by 100 power T. In this case, PT value is 26,214.40 and this P is 80,000. 1 minus R we need to calculate R by 100 whole power T means 5. Okay. Now first you do this divided by this one. You cannot calculate inside. Okay, because there is power, so you cannot calculate inside. So you have to do what? This comes in the denominator. So divided this and here. This power 5 here, I just took LCM here and power 5. How to remove this power? Yeah, how to remove power? This is we know like if there is x square equals to a, how do you remove the x? X means what? Root under a. Though there is plus minus sign, but for in you know, automatics plus we don't take plus minus sign. So x equals to root a. And root root a, this is root means what? Square root. This is square root means what? A power 1 by 2 in case of indices. Yeah, in indices we learn that root law. Okay. Now see, like if there is x cube equals to a, you can directly that x equals to what? a power 1 by 3. So if there is x power 5 equals to a, you can write x equals to a power 1 by 5. This is how you remove the power by using the indices law. Okay. Now see, in this case, this power 5, if you want to remove it, it goes there 1 upon 5. Okay. This whole power 1 upon 5, so this is 100 minus r by 100. So if you calculate this whole in a calculator, it gives 0.8. Okay, this value gives what 0.8 and this is 100 here, you cross multiply and multiply by 100. So this is 0.8 into 100 equals to 100 minus R. From here, this is 80 equals to 100 minus R. This R comes here, 80 goes there, R equals to 100 minus 80. Therefore, R equals to 20% per annum. Okay, now let's do question number 3. Okay, now let's do question number 3. Okay, now in this question number 3, now see, let's read the question. A machine bought for RS 2 lakhs depreciated at the rate of 10% per annum for the first 3 years, for the first 3 years and with the different rate afterwards, at the different rate afterwards. It was sold for RS 93,312. What was the rate of depreciation if the machine was sold 5 after, uh, if the machine was sold five years after purchasing okay now there are two cases two conditions are given here now the total time is five years and it is divided into two parts For one is first three years and another is next two years now we have to find in two conditions taking first three years for the first part and next two years for the second part okay and here see and here thus this is the present price now at this price it was bought yeah he purchased at this price two lakhs and this is the very final because at last, at the five years, he sold at 93,312. Okay, now let's do in the two cases. Now, first case is now, say what happens here? First case, in first case, P, this is the initial price. This is RS, two lakhs. And for the first case, there is three years, three years, and rate is 10% per annum. Now, what it say for the first three years, the value was depreciated by 10%. This 10% is for the first three years. And after that, after the next two years, the depreciation rate is changed. It's a with a different rate. Okay. That depreciation rate we need to calculate. Okay. So from the first part now, see what can you find is PT. This final. Because after 10% of depreci depreciation, yeah, each year, then what will be the price after three years? Now let's calculate. So after three years, what will be its price? Here. 
So Pt equals to P 1 minus R by 100 whole power T. So it is so easy to calculate. This is Pt is P is 2 lakhs. And this is 1 minus 10 divided by 100 whole power. This is time is 3 years. So from here, if you calculate all this value, you will get the value. This is 1 lakhs. 1 lakhs 45,800. Okay, I calculated in the calculator. So, if you calculate this whole in the calculator, you will get rupees 1 lakhs 45,800. That means after 3 years, the value of machine was 1 lakhs 45,800. Now, after 3 years again, you have to sell. After 3 years, what happened? Now, after 3 years, now see. Now, this is second case. Okay, let me write here second, second case. Now in second case, what happened? The time is of course there is two years left. Two years left. Yeah. And for the second case, this value becomes the previous price. P. So this is a P equals to rupees what? 145,800. Because in this after three years, now this is your value. The price of after three years, the price of this machine becomes what? This one. And the machine was sold at how many? This is 93,312. So your final price, this is the PT equals to rupees 93,312. Now from here, you need to find the value of R. And how do we find the value of R? This we have already done. Okay, now see. Here we have. Okay, we have is. Now this is PT equals to P. 1 minus R by 100. Whole power t now p is now pt is this is 93000 now it's going to finish now this is 1 lakhs 45800 1 minus r you need to calculate whole power t means 2 years so this is 93312 whole divided by 1 lakhs 45800 this equals to now here 100 minus r by 100 power 2 oh now okay now you let's calculate it when you calculate this value it gives 0 0.8 okay sorry this gives uh okay let's uh, first let's remove this square root this is whole root under 93312 whole divided by 145 800 this equals to 100 minus r by 100 okay now see let me rock this now, if you calculate this in the calculator, it gives you 0 0.8. Yeah, this, if you calculate directly, 0 0.8, this is 100 minus R by 100. So, you cross multiply, it gives you 80 equals to 100 minus R. Therefore, you will get R equals to 20% per annum. So, after 2 years, the rate of depreciation is 20% per annum. Okay, now let's see next question. Okay, now let's do the question number 4. Now, this question number 4 is exactly similar to the question number 6. Exactly same. Sorry, question number 3. Okay, now see, look at it. Now, a machine's value is 5 lakhs. 5 lakhs at the present. And depreciation depreciates at the rate of 5% for the first 3 years and 10% every afterward. Then, what would be its value after 7 years? Now, see, same like that. Yeah, there is also two conditions is given there. The first price is given and you have to find the very last price. Okay, and here the total time is given seven years and this seven years is divided into two parts. This is the first, the fourth. For the first three years, it is the rate is 5% and the next four years, it is for 10%. And in previous question number three questions, we are asked, we are asked the rate of depreciation. Yeah, the very final uh, price was given and asked the rate of depreciation and here rate of depreciation is given and you are asked the final price. Okay, it's very easy. I guess you can do yourself. This is uh, P for the first case. Yeah, this is first case. First case P equals to rupees. This is this much and here time equals to three years. Okay, and R equals to this is 5% per annum and this is PT you have to calculate. Now we have Okay, we have is PT equals to P 1 minus R by 100 whole power T. Now let's calculate PT. Now PT is what? This is 5 lakhs whole divided by this is uh, P unit. Sorry, I'm sorry. 
Now this is PG you need to calculate. This is P is 5 lakhs. Now 1 minus R means first case is 5 divided by 100 whole power time is 3 years. Okay, now let's calculate this value in the calculator. Let's check. Now this is Now this gives you rupees 428.68.7.5 Okay, this is 42 lakhs 86,087.5 Okay Okay, now this PT will be the present value for the next condition Now for second condition, for second condition Second condition your P is how much? This is rupees. Now you know you can do yourself, I guess. This is the present value and time is how much left? Now this is all to the seven years, three years already gone. So your time is four years. And PT you have to calculate final price and rate is given 10% per annum. So final rate is 10% per annum. Now let's calculate this is now here we have so PT equals to P. 1 minus r by 100 whole power t and this is p means how much this is 4 lakhs 28,687.5 1 minus this is 10 divided by 100 whole power how much 4 now you calculate this in the calculator how much it comes okay now see finally it gives this value now if you calculate this in the calculator this gives this value so uh, the final answer is what hence the price of the machines after 7 years is 28,281,261.87 Okay, this much for today. Hope you have understood my lecture. With this video, I have completed the depreciation chapter. Now in my next video, I will come with the next topic. If you have still not subscribed my channel, do subscribe it. And please don't miss to click on the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of every upcoming videos. If you like this channel, click on the like button. And if you have any comments, put comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, have a good time. Bye-bye.